What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel for the next Ghost Hunt. Sue, why did you bring me here? Oh you said God. you wanted to go on a ghost hunt. It's like, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to- I just, just don't go back that way. What, that way? Yeah, yeah don't, go, don't go down that way. We're going there later. But ladies and gentlemen, we are doing our next ghost hunt. We are currently staying overnight in the Pinhurst Insane Asylum. We are located in Spring City, Pennsylvania. This place was built in 1908 and was a place to basically put anyone who did meet the status quo and kind of forget about them and hope that they kind of just disappeared. This place has a terrible history, which you saw in the previous video. We'll We're gonna on. disappear. <laughs> just get out while you can. <laughs> We're gonna hit on some more of the terrible history of this place throughout this video, but we are going to be investigating this place because apparently it's pretty freaking haunted. As you saw in the tour video, Jennifer herself has experienced some crazy paranormal stuff here. There's also multiples of stories from other people. I think we've already experienced some weird noises here and there, but we're gonna go see what Pinhurst really has to offer. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. We Perfect. shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Now Amanda's only gonna be with us for about another hour or so, so we're gonna go dive in. Oh great. I wore my diaper. Did y'all wear yours? I told y'all. <laughs> Diapers know. only. Diaper gang, let's get into it. Make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and make sure to watch this with the lights on. I was very heavy. Like you know when you walk down to the basement, and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, because there's a the heavy feeling. Well when I walked up here, it was like very heavy. And I just don't feel uncomfortable up here. Like I feel uncomfortable up here. Mm -hmm. And then when I went down like there, it just looked. What do you like What do you see? If you can't, just tell the camera real quick. It looked like there was somebody that just like kind of like popped their head out of the door really quick because I like was kind. I kept going, kind of looking down that that way, mm -hmm. and tears just like immediately, immediately filled my eyes, and I got like just I can't. Like, I just do not feel comfortable up here, up here at all. Well, we can leave. We no, can leave. No. We can leave. We can go ahead. We can we can head down. Um, oh my God. Quick, just real quick. I guess real quick recap. We had just finished filming our intro, and I guess Amanda saying she saw someone, and you were saying you sit down there and see some stuff or something. Typically, this is the floor that they play hide and go seek in, or they'll play the knock knock game with us. So that's Fisher's room. He's a ghost that is like a teenage boy who will end up here. Typically pretty nice, but what they'll do is they'll lean out of doorways mm -hmm. and then lean back and then they'll get closer and closer. Or you'll knock on a door and sometimes they'll knock back to you. Cause that was weird to see her react like that. Cause she went on, she went on the entire tour of the building. We went to the basement where you said there'd be possibly mm -hmm. like something super bad down there. And she didn't have that kind of reaction. Then all of a sudden we get up here, finish filming the intro and then instantly just that's how we start a video up. Let's do this. Let's keep going. I told y'all to keep the lights on. I told y'all to keep the lights on. Um, that was really weird. Not gonna lie. I would rather go into the other building all day long than go up there. I've never had anyone get that emotional that quickly. No, I've never had tears like flood my eyes that fast. Best. I did not like that at all. I would rather go into that other place where that thing potential thing is than go up there. 100% all day. I'd rather go over there. Your best ghost hunting equipment is your body. You know your body. You know your instincts. That was weird. You know something doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. So getting emotional is going to be a reflection on that energy. And we already, we're just getting started and you've already had that kind of like emotional just, I guess just drop because you were like such high mood, good mood. And then all of a sudden you're just like, well, I no, need to leave. We walked up there. I was like, oh, no, no. Yeah, I'm you mentioned how heavy it was. When we, even when we started filming, I was like, Mm, I don't feel I didn't feel comfortable like keeping my back towards yeah. that hallway And then when you said that about that story about the teenage boys and yeah, nope I want to go places that we're gonna get um the most, the most yeah that I'm gonna <laughs> No, that we're gonna get the most not you <laughs> gonna get the most that we <laughs> as a group okay. are going He's to get I got him. You got it. You got it. Just grab on. Do we have a K2? No. Okay. Cool. Are you gonna get one? I'm gonna go grab my, my Just grab on Ooh. me. It's okay. She's gonna bring her her equipment. I'm sorry, but that was really creepy. No, it's fine. Like if you want to like dive deep into like how you feel and everything, like you can. Like you just so okay. So go through it real quick, just so I have it on camera. If you don't mind, you don't have to do this. You were up there. You, it no, felt heavy. So we walked up there, and right away it was just like it just felt like it felt very heavy, like right. hot heavy. But even that hallway, like I, when we did the intro, I couldn't. I couldn't keep my back turned. I had to keep turning around. You'll see that in the video too when you watch the footage. I kept turning back around to keep looking. 
And then when I kept, when we were, when you guys were talking, I like shined my flashlight back and it literally looked like somebody kind of like just popped their head out real quick. Yeah, maybe it was the flashlight, I don't know. But then I got, like I got chills and my eyes just welted up. And that's when I turned to her and I was like, I need to, I don't like this. Like I need to go. Are you okay now? How do you feel now that you're not up I'm there? I'm okay now, but that was, that creeped me out. That creeped you out? Yeah. But we're going, so just so y'all know, we're going, we're starting out in the Rockwell Tunnel where apparently there is someone there who likes little girls. Yes. Are you saying that was the janitor? Yes. It's the janitor. Who lives in, who lived in Quaker when he was here? Well, he worked there, but he worked in that's Quaker. Like his, his spot. Okay. What's that? Long walkway is just very odd. This is in between buildings, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. If you can imagine, this is what the rest of campus looked like when they first showed up after it had been yes. abandoned. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the villa. That is not. It's not as scary because of the lights y'all hung up. But it's, it almost gives it like an even eerier vibe though because you can see further mm -hmm. and then it just gets pitch black. We had to hang them up because trespassers. Oh, um, so you can see them? Yeah, and they get really, we've had instances in the past where they get very violent with staff and like. Did you hear that? There's like a step next to me. It was right before I hit record too. I was literally turning my camera on to record it and I heard a step next to me like in the, oh well, anyway. Are we, is this where the tunnel is? Uh -huh. Is this where we're going? Uh -huh. Down here? Uh -huh. I love it when places have tunnels. Are you ready to go into the tunnel? No. I don't, anywhere where there's more bats, I don't want to go. I feel like I'm going into something like that. Dude. Going into the tunnel? What? No. No. Yo. What the hell? I'm in your way. I'm recording. Dude. It won't. It's structurally sound. I would let you down here. This is sick. So every building that was here was connected through these tunnels. Are we doing another picture? Yeah. Oh my god. If there's any spirits that would like to get in this picture, please go ahead. <laughs> my man is like, nah, 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 nah. I'm just snapping a whole bunch. I'm also watching my uh, battery drop drastically fast. We're at 47. To the right is the doors to Tenecum. If we don't get anything down on my first hot spot, I'll take you guys in here. Um, Dude, that's creepy. Look where we just came from, too. Hello. Wait, what? Wait till we turn the corner. Easy exit out is run fast. Oh man. So. For like one second and turn your lights off. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're turning the lights off. I'm keep my camera recording though. Like let's see, let's see how dark it is. Three, two, one. Yo. <laughs> that is. I stop us here because there's an emergency. That is. That is. Dark, dark. That's probably one of the darkest places I've been. That's dark. Where I set up, but I just wanted to explain kind of geography. This is the basement door to Devon. This is where we just were, right? Yeah, so this, if you walk down, if you walk, would walk down this hallway okay. and turn left, you would be right at Candyland. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, and then down here, we have, let me get my face to show you guys. This is creepy. This is just like tunnel for tunnels. Got some weird doors. Don't you like being in the tunnel? No. Thank you. So, what an experience. What does that do? It basically measures like electrical current. 
So why is it already red? Hold on. Turning my phone on to airplane mode. You can't say it's my phone. See how it went away when I put my mm -hmm. phone away because it's on airplane mode? So this is the Quaker door. Remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. No. So this cord. This cord, yeah. Is not plugged in. It would go to the end of this hallway, is where the haunted house starts. Mm -hmm. But it's July, so nothing is turned on. Right. Um, his energy only extends so far away. So the man who lives in Quaker. Can't do it. Do it. Can't do it. Okay. The way that reverbed. That's terrifying. I would suggest us setting up kind of between Quaker and Devon um, and see kind of like who's awake. I have the Geoport with me okay. and a couple of my own personal tools that I usually get a lot of perception with. Okay. Um, but this is definitely echoey, so I typically like people to like hold still so we don't interfere with the sound too much. Mm -hmm. But um, if you have a REM pod, it's good to set it up here. And then I got a REM pod, we can set that up. All right, where are we setting up at? Let's get a base. Let's get our base of operations. And then we're gonna go night vision, which is my favorite part. Would y are y'all ready to go night vision? I have an idea yeah. where we can put on that. Or a night vision uh, light we can put on that so y'all can see. But it's gonna be pitch black here. Great. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna set up the REM pod and cat balls in front of this door. Are you okay? Are you recording that? Are you recording that? Did you look? Uh, something's over there because I can't focus on the ca on the flashlight. My camera's not focusing on the flashlight. Yeah, my camera won't focus on the flashlight. Turn the flashlight on. That is freaking. Okay, turn the flashlight. Nope. Yeah, no. That's right. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> Can you turn the flashlight off for me? Thank you. Oh my all god. The way. No, all the way, please. No, thank you. Thank you. Do you see that? Thank you. Now, can you give me a coupon for DoorDash? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> that is... Oh. Can you turn the flashlight back on, please? I wonder if it's having problems with its drain of battery. All the way on? Just one more time, please? Oh my god. Can you turn the flashlight on? All the way, as bright as you possibly can. You're doing such a good job. Just go a little bit brighter, okay? Do you not have That's enough energy to do it? <laughs> Thank you. But not listening to the ears, it just listens to you. I don't, I don't know who it is. I'm gonna set up the ramp out over here, is that okay? So I just want to point out though, for this camera too, when I was trying to zoom in on the flashlight that you had laying on the ground over here, this camera would not focus on the flashlight. All right, turn this light off. There we go. Can you come out and touch that red light on the floor? Turn 
if you don't want to answer questions. Hello, can you turn the light on please? Thank you. Dude, okay. Good job. I've never done that before on a hunt and to see it in person is probably the craziest thing I've liked. Well, it's listening to me, okay? It I'm is listening, listening to you. Yeah. How old are you? Wait, that, that's a silly question to ask, I'm sorry. If you like ice cream, can you turn the light back on? If you like cake, will you turn the light back on? Okay. M Ms, chocolate. Hey, I like chocolate too. Oh my god, they just turned on for the chocolate. Yeah. We're best friends. They just turned on for chocolate. Look at that. Gotta love the chocolate. Did you work here? Not to alarm you. Um, I think you just had a mouse running underneath you. Okay, well I heard a thump, so that would explain that. Yeah, it was right when it ran back underneath you. Okay. <laughs> Not to alarm. <laughs> it was a mouse, I saw it running. I was like, it's a... Oh, it was a mouse? Thank you. That sound was pretty loud. It's scary. What? Did you live here? Are you a patient here? No. Did you live here? Did you have friends here? Were you a patient here? Are you happy? Are you stuck here? Oh, wait. Was that for happy? What was that for? If that was for happy, turn off, please. Turn the light off so we know that was for happy. Oh, are you stuck here? Interesting. Okay, so we're stuck here. Are you stuck in the tunnel? Are you stuck in Devon? Are you behind this door? That was me knocking. Could you make a noise for us? Would you like to touch my red light that I have over at the other door? I think it's gone. It says all the lights went down. Oh, never mind. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get my. Are you the only one that's here with us? If there are others down here with us, will they talk to us? Can you touch that red light right next to the flashlight? Or get close to the antenna? Are you scared of something? Are you a child? Wait. That was to me. Well, because what I was going to say is, isn't this the, um, mm -hmm. the place where you said your friend is? Mm -hmm. This is the exact spot that I was sitting when I had my parents back to. Okay. Are you spooked? Yes, I'm spooked. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just the flashlight turning on and off. If anything, it could be a slight connection between the battery and the light, which is causing it to go in and out. There's just coincidence that it's happening when we ask questions. There's the logical way to think of it to help you get past your fear. All right, turn the flashlight off.
All the way, please. Am I talking to who I think I'm talking to? Are we playing this game tonight? This is very interesting. None of the other lights are doing anything. Like you're the mm -hmm. EMF reader, the REM pod right next to it. I mean, I can turn the geoport on if you want. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah let's try it. Yeah, I get so. <laughs> you gotta experience all of the real life. Honestly, it might not even be that. It could be just somebody wanting to play. No, no. I mean, it doesn't want to play. Listen, yes. if I was bad at my job and I didn't get any ghosts to talk to you, I, I feel like you were cheated out of your It's gonna be fine. Okay, fine. It's, you're gonna be fine. Maybe it'll say hello.
now. Just, just wants to get You're good? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we just experienced some really interesting stuff. Um, you're using this device. What is it? How does it work? What is it supposed to do? What's the method behind it? So it's a geoport. It's basically a large speaker. Um, and then we use this little radio that it comes with and an aux cord and it's, it's scanning right now. But it essentially scans through AM frequencies so fast you shouldn't pick up interference. Okay. It should just be what the energy around you and the spirits around you can manipulate that. Okay, so it's like a spirit box, but better? Yes. So okay. essentially it only is on AM so you won't get any like FM frequencies and it scans through so fast you shouldn't get anything mm -hmm. except what they're able to give you. Okay. So you won't ever hear like a commercial on it or something like that. Okay. So everything we were hearing is up to debate what it is, correct? To some degree, yeah. Okay. What was the like, Dum! we kept hearing? I don't know. I think it sounds, to me personally, it sounds like somebody hitting like a restraint on a bed. It, it, that's, it almost sounded like um, metal hitting metal. Just mm -hmm. ping, like, not like a ping, but like like ping comes off as like high pitch, whereas this was more like a like middle tone. Like a weird like kind of climb. And it had a reverb, it had like mm -hmm. a reverb on it. And I kept hearing that repetitively. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know what that was. And then, oh God, there was so much going on. It sounded like it either said Jake or Jen at mm -hmm. one point, which um, this this was all point. I was hoping we picked that up. And then some growling. <laughs> yes. Which to some degree you have to remember that like, there were patients here that were nonverbal. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely typical of like, how they would try to communicate. Any of the noises we heard on this, could you write off as like feedback? Like, you know how like an amp gives the feedback, like mm -hmm. the humming. Is there any of that? Or do you think everything we were just hearing is potential paranormal? If you hear it, then it's like a dun-dun yeah. sound. That's them getting all the way through the frequency and starting over on the on That's the, the machine getting all the way through? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, it sounds really scary when you first hear it, but like that's it. Because you're like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. It's like, it's resetting. They have um, drums. <laughs> it's kind of hard though, because you're basically tuning in, if you can imagine like, you're opening a window into a space. So right. it could be they're talking to each other and they don't want to talk to you. Or it could be the, the memory or the residual energy that's in the space all on top and they don't have the capacity to answer you. That's why you'll typically hear me say like, can one of you please get closer to the box? Because the closer they are, the, or the more powerful they are, the more energy they have, the clearer mm -hmm. their words are going to be. Okay. If we turn the box back on, will you tell us your name? Can you not touch the antenna because you're behind the door? Can you turn the flashlight off, please? I have a question. Do you want us to leave? Oh, that, that wasn't good. Should we be afraid of something? Do you like me? Please turn on the flashlight. So I feel good about myself. Thank you. Okay. That's cool. That's cute. <laughs> that was cute. That's making it to the trailer. <laughs> Who doesn't like me? That's I mean, I'm, let's be honest. That's cute. Jay, I want you to hear this. Come here. Come over and sit over here. Okay? Because you missed it when it's happened. <gasps> As soon as I get up, I don't record it. And then this lit up too. Yeah. Both were lit up. That camera's gonna be playing the time. I'm just gonna sit next to you. Okay. Is something coming? Hey, as soon as I stood up, it was like something took off. For real though, you know, as soon as he stood up and I make sure everyone knows this too You have to get within like what six inches of that antenna for it to first light up green Jay was nowhere near six. No, inches. I was walking back to get the flashlight I was walking back to get this flashlight that was so yeah. bad back over there. Is our friend on the flashlight still here? Can you turn the flashlight on for me? Hmm, you leave. Did anyone else hear the drip? Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoever just turned the green light on, could you do it again? Or could you make a sound that we can all hear? Yo, 
heard that, right? Please tell me I was not the only one that just heard that. I didn't hear anything. I was laughing. What'd you see? Well, there's like, there's a smoke detector up there, obviously in the middle of the ceiling. Right. And I saw like a light go into it, but that end of the hallway is blocked off because that's where the haunt like starts, like part of the haunted tunnel. Yeah. So I don't know if I just caught the... Please tell me you heard the female voice. I'm gonna turn the GF cord on. Did you hear it? I heard something that was not me. It sounded like a female voice and you're talking. There was a couple times where I swear to you, I heard what sounded almost like a stomach growl coming from down this hallway. That's why I asked if it was you, because I thought maybe you had like a little stomach growl. Like, everyone gets a stomach growl, everyone gets it. It's bugs. Okay, okay. But something turned, something got close to this. Mm -hmm. Something lit up the EMF. Well, it was, it was, I don't know if you can see this one on the other side of me, next yeah. to the door, it was blinking. Yeah. And then everything went off all at once. Yep. What? I told you I heard a female voice. I told you I heard a female voice. Hi.
So it was a, a whisper came through saying he's here. Because what she was saying is how it got really quiet. You couldn't hear the girl crying anymore. Nobody was answering questions. I just want to, I'm just gonna take a quick second to point out that during the middle of that I look down here and where the red glow is on the right wall I swear to you I saw a shadow figure crawling on the freaking ground I, I caught the tail it almost like a dog just whoop. right as I looked down I saw just and that's why I grabbed the camera I scooted closer to you because I was panicking and then I grabbed the camera and turned it because I was like is there an animal down here and it was on the right side what do you think of that here and all the weird stuff coming out of the box I think the weirdest part was when I stood up and all that stuff like went off. That yeah. was kind of like, it was a little bizarre. How bizarre. And then hearing the piano, because I play the piano, it's like I could pick up on that. I don't piano. Think there was any building that had a piano, maybe like Mayflower Basement? Or like there are toys and like there were classrooms in Devon. I don't know if there's a period the echoing from it. Now that we say it's like, hey, that was a piano, it's like that spot on that like fits it almost it to the like, T. Yeah, it was like you're hitting the high, the high keys and they're out of tune, yeah. which would make sense because why would they keep a piano tuned here? Yeah. There's no point. No one here can really, no one here could probably play it. So, so we are leaving the tunnels after experiencing some very interesting things. We definitely got some responses potentially out of the flashlight, the little rim pod, the geo port, which is essentially again, a spirit box on steroids. But now we're gonna go somewhere else, explore some more of this massive insane asylum. What? Did you walk through the puddle? What? Did you walk through the puddle? No. What? Well, it's just so. That's walking in. Hold on. That's walking in. Those are massive. This is walking away, but this last one's walking in, isn't it? Or is that walking? That's no, walking out. And that's not me. I'm too wide, but that's almost a size 14. That's a huge stride though. Like, I'm six feet and like that's a- Yeah, I don't walk like shit. that. Oh my God. From here, for me to, for me to do it, look, this is me here. Here, hold this so you can record me. We just, we just discovered some footsteps, which is really weird. But for me to do it, I would have to go here. That's my, that's my stride. And then again, and it's about average. What the fuck is that? Because there's three of them perfectly coming in, but it's almost it starts here. Because this is the no. That might just be dirt. But that's that's too far. But it almost just starts here. Is there any more? None of us stepped in here. Who's, who's no, I came around the side. What's that? No, I stepped around it. Yeah, but that might. Is that me? No. Could be potential. I'm just saying potential, but, but See, look, I got no idea. I don't have that slide. slide. I don't have yeah. There's, if you were walking like that, I would have been like, the fuck are you doing? What is this? Wait, because look at this stride. Like, literally. But like, For me to mimic this stride, this is all you need to know. This makes no sense. For me to move the stride, here's the footprint here. You see the you see the dirt. It's on one foot right next to it. The next one put here is right up here. I have to go here, and then the next one here. Do y'all have a giant that lurks these halls? As you can see, I don't walk like that. We're looking at this, yeah, you see footprint there, footprint there, and there's a footprint up here, right there. Crazy, we just found some um, footsteps that simply just don't make sense. <gasps> I'm leaving my cat balls. Can y'all go with me to get my cat balls? I don't wanna go by myself. All right, so as we're making our way to the next location, I gotta fill y'all in on a little bit. So Jay here posted on his Twitter 
that he was going to be happy. here at the ghost hunt and he got a lot Thanks, of attraction. Geeks and gamers, people, thank you. <laughs> and so I thought it would be funny. We we're like, all right. I quote retweeted it and I said, if we get 100 likes, I'm going to make him go in the basement by himself with a camera. <laughs> we're at like almost 300 likes, I think. Um, so Jay, here in a little bit, is going to get to go into a basement by himself with a camera and see what happens. Are you excited? Yeah. Look at all this thrilled, thrilledness. <laughs> Thanks, family. <laughs> he looks, Thanks, friends. He looks amped for this. So we got that coming up. And then meanwhile, me and Jen are probably going to be like somewhere else doing another investigation. <laughs> Hopefully getting someone we're talking to to go play with Jay. God. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs>